Okay, you're looking at video captured on a school bus in Utah. The driver shut the door on a student, trapping his backpack, and then dragged the 14-year-old boy for about 150 feet. The boy's mother says this was no accident. Her son is biracial, and she believes the driver had, quote, racial animus towards students of mixed race. The mom has filed a lawsuit against the driver, the school district, and the transportation director. Joining us now is Brenda Mays. It was her son who was dragged by the bus, and she is joined by her attorney, Bob Sykes. It's good to have both of you here. So, Ms. Mays, I want to start with you. Um, uh, what makes you think that this dragging incident was intentional, was the result, as you said, of racial, racial animus rather than just an unfortunate accident? Well, we had had a prior incident um, back in October where the bus driver had shut the neighbor in the door, who's also biracial, and tried to shut my younger son in the door, um, who's also biracial. And uh, complaints were filed, uh, police report filed, school district was contacted, transportation director was contacted, and the district didn't do anything. The transportation director didn't do anything. Mm. Um, my younger son and the, the neighbor that it had happened to, they were both afraid to ride the bus. They hadn't been riding the bus in, from October until February because they were afraid of the bus driver. And so you think this is only so, happening to students of mixed race? Yes, it is. Biracial students. But that's not the only incident. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, tell me, so, so, but, two or but, three others. So there were, there were more than, than uh, what Ms. Uh, Mays just said about her son and a neighbor getting the door slammed on them also? Oh, yes. Uh, in September of 2017, uh, Child Doe, uh, the, the one who is the plaintiff here, uh, was trying to protect uh, a third grader, a uh, third grade mixed race student from being bullied by a sixth grader and got up in the bus uh, and was disciplined by the bus driver for doing that. Uh, and since this story has become public, there have been, and uh, Brenda can tell you about it, but uh, uh, other instances that have come forward that we're aware of, of mixed race or black students mm. uh, having uh, problems on the bus with this bus driver. Okay. He's closed the door on other people. Um, okay, that's really important to know. Here's what other, the school... Other mixed race. Okay, here's what the school district has said about the complaints. When issues of discrimination are raised at any time, they are investigated thoroughly. The Davis School District takes any claims of racial discrimination seriously and does not tolerate any form of racial discrimination in our schools. You're saying that's just simply not true. It's baloney. And, and she can tell you about her the complaints, uh, attempts to try to remedy this. The complaints made back in October, um, there was school video that the transportation director took over that investigation. There was school video facing the buses. It had happened at the elementary school. Um, the video has since been overwritten. There's no longer a video. The transportation director said that he'd interviewed three adults. Um, it was no one that was at the school today, the adults that he'd interviewed. Uh. Because of the transportation director's investigation, then the sheriff's department closed down their criminal charges from the October incident. Okay. The bus driver, I want to get your reaction to what his response has been. He says he is not a racist and he has an interesting way of proving that. So here is this moment. Would you say that you're racist? Not at all. No. Yeah. Look at my dog. He's as black as can be. <laughs> Brenda, your reaction? I... I... I, I don't even know what to say to that. And his, his later comments, um, he Charles implied, Lane. yeah, yeah, I don't, I think he says everything that could be said about it. Um, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Sykes, does that bus driver still work at the school? Has he lost his job? No, according to that interview you played a segment of, uh, within a, a few days he claims he quit to avoid being fired. Uh, but the, the thing that we find so inexcusable is that uh, for at least a year and a half prior to this incident of February uh, 5th, the 4th or 5th, 4th, uh, 2019, <clears throat> there were other instances and the district did nothing about it. Uh, this was uh, put Child Doe's life at risk if those 
straps had broken, yeah. if he had fallen to the pavement, or if he had been sucked into the tires, could have been killed Absolutely. or seriously injured. Yeah, we're so happy to report that he is okay, uh, that something yeah. worse didn't happen. But please keep us posted on your lawsuit of the driver and the district and the uh, transportation director. Bob Sykes, thank Brenda you. Mace, thank you very much for sharing your personal story with us. Thank, thank you. you.